Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Sunday, February 18th and the energies in the day adds up and reduce to the number nine vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So the spirit animal, associated with the day is the firefly you guys like yesterday the spirit animal had to do with the mind the day before the spirit animal had to do with the mind and the day before that yesterday and the day before yeah the spirit animal had to do with the mind and today's firefly also deals with the mind you probably can hear the squawking happening outside from the egyptian geese they've been like walking back and forth making noise i don't know what the noise means but i think of say the mind aspect the air aspect to birds like the firefly energy so with the air aspect the mind aspect this is bringing me to the importance of our thoughts and how we're choosing to perceive reality because the way we choose to perceive reality, the way we choose to see things is what creates our reality. We can't control what's happening, but we can control how we show up and how we perceive it. And from the way we show up and how we perceive it, that helps us to be at peace in the moment and create more peace in our world. So big emphasis on the mind. And I mean, the mind is in an airy place with Mercury with mercury in aquarius and the moon is now in aquarius and the moon conjuncts pluto and mercury in aquarius so the moon is our inner world and our inner world <clears throat> is in a place where it is communicative it is in a place where it is going from one extreme to the next as far as wanting to be free but wanting to make our parents proud make the people in our lives proud wanting to be accepted so as i going from wanting to be accepted to wanting to be free with the moon and mercury and aquarius so the mind and the inner world is in the same space of wanting to be accepted and wanting to be free so this is where we can find ourselves being inconsistent or going from one extreme to the next and even in some cases find ourselves being resentful because with this energy i think of say the need to set a good impression and then from that good impression we leave other people to have expectations that's hard for us to keep up expectations that's unrealistic so we show up we put our best foot forward and then people have these expectations so we ghost them because just the thought of showing up the way they want us to is exhausting yes that is a part of who i am but it is not all of who I am. I think of the person who wears, say, face paint, face beat, whole lot of makeup, and you meet someone and you met them with your face done a certain way. So that's the way how they're used to you. That's what they like about you, but that's not all of you. It's just a part of you. So the thought of getting together with them feels like work because so much has to go on in order to get up with them, to connect with them. And then you could find yourself resenting them because that's what they like you for. But at the same time, can you blame them? That's how you've taught them to see you because that's the only thing that you've shown them. So this is where we have to challenge ourselves to show different aspects of ourselves and all sides of ourselves instead of trying to please everyone instead of trying to be likable and accepted. So we avoid rocking the boat. 
and the day adds up and reduce the number nine vibration and the number nine energy talks about just that like going along to get along being a chameleon blending in where we feel that others will like us only to eventually become resentful because we feel like other people are controlling us and it's just other people expecting us to keep up whatever it is that we've presented when we showed up in a certain way and said this is how i am you can expect this of me and the card that reflects the day is the two of swords in the reversal position in the upright position the two of swords energy talks about say the mind and the number two energy is something it, it, it's okay so let me start with the number one the number one is an idea the number two is putting an idea in motion so the number one like say ace of swords would be a brand new idea this number the, the two of swords is formulating that idea is trying to organize that idea in a way that you can take action on it a way that you can make it into something create a thought into something tangible so with this in the upright position this person's having a hard time making a decision having a hard time like feeling and seeing what's happening and that's because they refuse to but and, and and with this card too to me i look at the moon in the background and it's because the guidance has to come from within so that's why the eyes are closed and the and the heart is covered because this energy the guidance needs to come from within so with this card in the reversal position i think of say when a person says i'm confused and i'll say you're not confused you're just afraid to do what needs to be done and that's what i mentioned on say thursday feeling confused when really we're not confused just afraid to do what needs to be done I think of say the number nine aspects of the day and some things coming to an end and it could be something simple like a perspective a way of seeing things or it could be an actual thing coming to an end but then the ending is really the beginning so there's always a reason to celebrate so with the ending being the beginning that means life goes on so this is where we have to allow ourselves to let go and not hold on to things so tight and trust the universe because if something is for you when you let go an even renewed version will come back to you opposed to say when the number nine is operating in low vibration the number nine will hold on to the relationship the community and everything because it's familiar it brings me to the thought where they say trust the evil that you know so this is where a person will stick with the relationship because that person is familiar they don't want to start over and that's choosing to be in a toxic and negative cycle toxic and negative situation which brings me to say saturn energy and how saturn deals with the authorities in our lives the way how we were conditioned to be and we turned out to be the saturn in our children's lives and the people that we guide and when it comes to say the whole familiarity aspect of saturn like the number nine liking familiarity this is where we have to reflect on what we've been taught what we've learned ask ourselves how did it help me and does it continue to help me will it help me moving forward is it beneficial now because if it's not this is where we have to let it go and move on and allow new and fresh things to flow into our lives the sun enters into pisces today with the sun in pisces the sun reflects the dreamy and escape is the, the dreamy and escaping part of who we identify as when the sun is in pisces this can cause people who are extroverted to feel a bit overwhelmed and alone because the neptune aspect associated with pisces energy can cause us to be inclusive everybody going within themselves it's like the extrovert wanting others to come out and play and everybody just wants to sit in on the couch and watch saturday morning cartoons by themselves instead of going out and playing and connecting so with the sun entering into pisces you, to me this energy creates or this energy makes it hard for people to be consistent when it comes to say 
being disciplined about certain things. This is where the person says, I will no longer eat this, that, or the next, or I've quit smoking or drinking this or that. But then the sun going into Pisces can cause us to feel like we need soothing. We need something to help us to escape reality because reality feels too much. It's like the dream is better than reality because in this moment, I'm not where I want to be. So in this moment, I feel powerless. So from avoiding those feelings of powerlessness, we fall into old habits or ways of escaping reality. Some people escape reality through other people. This is where a person can meet someone and the person comes off so clingy and maybe you're someone who thinks you're clingy, but really it's abandonment issues that are unresolved. So with this person clinging to you, because it's like you're their escape, you're their drug, you feel like, wow, this is your person and you start to get used to having them around only for them to just disappear because they found a new drug. So when I think of this escaping energy, you know, it comes from, say, feeling powerless about the moment, feeling powerless about something about life. So with the day adding up and reducing to the number nine vibration, we can find ourselves having a hard time with letting go and moving forward from a thing because of the familiarity, because we've gotten so used to having it around, because we've gotten so used to the routine of it, even if it wasn't that good for us in the first place. And with the firefly energy, the firefly energy brings me to say the light, the light that's present. And the light that's present could be, you know, us knowing because Pisces energy is very psychic and the moon conjuncts Pluto brings me to that, you know, transformative, our inner world transforming and gaining that light, gaining that guidance, gaining that knowing. But then I go to say the day being the 18th and the number one deals with the identity and identifying with tangible things in order to see ourselves, in order to describe ourselves, in order to re recognize ourselves. And the number eight is also a material energy and the number eight is one that deals with concrete thinking the number eight is the one that says this is familiar and this is the way how it's supposed to be because this is the way it's always been this is the way how i was taught that things are supposed to be this is the way how that i was taught that things are so with that aspect to the day even though we have premonition and intuition from the psychic and intuitive aspect of pisces We'll look outside ourselves to confirm what's happening within and outside of you can confirm what's happening within, but you have to be patient. It takes time because for me, with my premonition and intuition, I'll have say a dream about a, a client that I'm going to connect with. And first I'll allow the client to speak and I'll look, wait for confirmation within the session to then bring up what was in my premonition. So it just you just have to be patient. And also too, with being patient, you know, journal, write things down so you can confirm your premonition, so you can validate yourself. This will help to strengthen your ability. When I look at the day, with the moon conjunct Pluto, Pluto energy could be heavy because Pluto energy forces transformation. And again, with the number nine, we don't always like to let go. So this is where we could find ourselves experiencing turbulence within because of the fear of letting go. But Mercury squares Uranus. So like yesterday's energy, the mind is nervous about the sudden changes that are happening. And Mars still squares Neptune. So this is where our motivation conflicts with what we really need, which is to reflect introspection, journaling, going within. But that's something that, you know, we'll avoid because it's scary because what's happening within, if everybody else isn't feeling it, then that might mean something's wrong with us. And that's the last thing that we want to feel is that something is wrong. But in order for us to find the truth that we seek, we have to go within. And we've been conditioned to look outside of ourselves for truth, because if we're looking outside of ourselves for truth, it's like me giving you fish instead of teaching you how to fish. When you go inside of yourself and look for truth, you know how to feed yourself. You know how to nourish yourself. You know how to solve your own problems. But if I give you the fish all the time, then you come to me 
You'll always need me. So, yeah, when I think about how we've been conditioned to look outside of ourselves, it makes sense for those who condition us to look outside of ourselves because we'll always need them. You guys, such a pleasure. If you'd like to book a reading with me or check out my exclusive contents on Patreon, the links for that are in the description box below. If you're still here with me, I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a brown heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.